Hey guys, today we're going to be having a look at the Sirius XM Stiletto 2 portable MP3 player and satellite radio receiver. At this point, I recorded this in like July, so it's long sold and long gone, but we'll have a look at it and see if it works. As I recorded this months ago, I don't know quite what's happening, but I think it was dead, so I'm plugging it in. And I'm not quite sure why there appears to be a transistor that was stuck to the end of it. So now you can see that I'm going to the satellite radio option. And currently, then, there was a free trial going on, so I didn't actually have to hook it up to a subscription that my family currently has. And it actually had the original box which cost 400 Canadian dollars. And I think I managed to sell it for like 140, which is pretty good because I got it for basically free. Now we'll just do a basic unboxing of what I have. So I think it came with all of the original accessories and we'll just look through them all and talk about what I remember from them. So this is the remote. I don't even think I tested it out, but yeah. It also had that car charger that I set down and this box of goodies that looked like some kind of short antenna. And here's the, that was the long range antenna. And this is to sync it with your computer to put MP3s on it. That's the antenna you'd set on the roof of your car. And this is the thing you'd plug into your car so you could use it. And here's some gross looking earbuds that are antennas that I didn't want to use. I don't know what that is, some sort of mount, most likely. And there's another mount. A cleaning pad. Probably another mount. Same goes for that. I don't know what I'm holding right now. Here's a window mount for your car. And some more. Um, uh, antenna headphones that look really disgusting. So, this is basically everything that it came with. So, here's how much it weighs versus an original iPod. I did this because... Hmm, I can't remember... They weren't out around the same time. I think it was because they both had the spinning wheel for navigating. Like a physical scroll wheel type of thing. So, yeah. Not too sure why I did that. You can see both of them have the spinning click wheels. Or a scroll wheel, I should say. So, you can see where Sirius got their design. As the original iPod came out in 2001 and that's from 2007 but thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed this filler video because i've been really busy recently